to fall in great ravines Colossal steeples to the gods in the machines Broken body built anew Spirit lingers torn in two Metal fingers grip my heart so cold Fossil fields to slavery Political duplicity Every great commodity Black gold, there's a heartbeat under my skin Search my electric soul for the hidden man within Your secret science conquers nature's cruel laws But inside your wires lie a million Sleep I dream inside my honeycomb I stay alive inside my hive of skin and chrome Broken body built anew Spirit lingers torn in two Metal fingers grip my heart so cold Fossil fuels to slavery Political duplicity Every great commodity Slave to the new black gold, there's a heartbeat under my skin. Search my electric soul for the hidden man within. Slave to the new black gold, there's a heartbeat under my skin. Search my electric soul for the hidden man within. I was muted. Oh my god. I don't know how to stream. Ah. So I'll repeat myself. 
Thank you, Joe, for the raid. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to catch the stream. Doing the commentary today for a qualifier race, which was great. But glad to hear you finished Little Nightmare. Um, so we're going to give this a shot, though, today. I, I like these Thursday little NMG things for, like, a brief little run. See if they go well. I know, my DM. I don't know. It was a fun race. Thank you. I thought we did pretty well. Nobly and I do have a good style back and forth. Like, Nobly and I just bounce really nicely off of each other as, com as a compare, so I've really had fun with him. So, but thank you for the good luck, Olkash and Joe. And hello, everybody. We are going to see how this goes. We, of course, have to deal with the fact that our escape in this run and the old PB is way too good. You know, the weather was so nice today, it's now raining outside. Uh, I think so. Um, looks like surgery is going to be Thursday, so I should be good on Tuesday. Um, hopefully Relicta doesn't take us too long and maybe we start the DLC. Or the title update or whatever it is. But yeah, I think Tuesday will work. Ah! Um, this... So, what I found, by the way, for the endings is you can pick one and then just do the other. Like, you load the checkpoint and it's, like, just the other option so we should be fine for both of those i think the big question is are we gonna did we mess up on the last collectible so or can we get back to um that last area or that first area again Yeah, it would just mean I'd have to replay it. And, like, I'm going to probably do the speed run eventually, so not a huge problem. It just stinks. Oh, is it? Well, I will try to watch. Oh, wait, I can't watch next Thursday. So, have fun. I can't. I'm going under the knife. No, you gotta start it. Like, you've got so much to do to uh, for random to-do list. Like, I'm sure you're gonna stream it probably multiple days if you're going for RTDL stuff with it. Yeah, I saw all, so like... Okay, I was like, don't move it away from next Thursday. But yeah, no, I won't be there. Um, like, maybe I get home at a decent hour and can hear the end of it. 
or the late portions of the stream, but like I don't know, they haven't really told me much, like if he's got other patients that day, like am I the only surgery for him on Thursday? Um, I don't have a, a picture for time yet. So I have no idea what the timing's looking like for Thursday. Um, I don't think he's going to be doing it, like, a ton extra. So, like, way too many details. Um, all the gory details. Um, so what's going to happen is... Well, I guess let's start previously. Uh, so November 20 or October 2020, November 2020, we had our first eye surgery. Um, on the right eye um, because a retinal detachment was forming in the right, right eye. So to help repair it, um, he went in removed a lot of the other stuff that had been bad um but to help secure it and allow it to heal and the retinal detachment to heal up we put in a silicone oil um that sits usually for about six months but unfortunately at about the six month mark about this time last year um was when i had the uh, the hemorrhage in my left eye so we did surgery on the left eye last year. Um, so, and it was just never like a high priority to get the oil out. So we just kept putting it back. I was gonna have it removed in January roughly, but um, I had some episodes of high blood pressure. Um, so to get that under control, we push back to now. Um, so the plan is on Thursday, I will have the oil removed. Uh, the only question is, what does he do after that? His goal is to remove the oil and be done. And not have to do a bunch of other stuff. Like, put back in oil. Um, but if it looks like I'm at risk for a detachment or some other thing, he could put in liquid or oil or a gas. Why am I going rando? Um... <laughs> So the other thing though, is he looked at my scan this past week. On Monday I was in for an injection and some pre-surgery talk. Um, and what he noticed was that I have um, quite a growing cataract in my right eye. Um, between everything that's happened and all the injections I'd been getting, all the injections which help uh, reduce the swelling in my eye. Like, there's a lot of swelling in my right eye. Um, but all that swelling, um, he's been treating with a steroid injection. So he's been doing different injections for a while now, and those help reduce the swelling. But those steroids that are helping me are also accelerating the formation of cataracts. So... Um, I will need cataract surgery in the future. He can't do that surgery, though. Like, he is not a person who does cataract surgery. So, I can't get that done. Um, so, that is that. But, what that also means is it makes his window to see kind of, like, where to cut other stuff. Like, or do laser like, he, he was talking to me about, like, hey, maybe I do some laser treatment, try to do some other things to help you. Um, and the only problem is, is that with the cataracts, it becomes very hard to see all those details. Um, so he might not be able to do all the things that he was hoping afterwards because of it. So it could just be mainly the... the like the cut and the adjustment with the oil side of things but we can't know until he goes in like maybe he sees more than he realizes or other stuff like we don't know that um at minimum it's to remove the oil and check if we can get away with not putting anything in um best case 
is like if he does a gas bubble, like I don't have to lay face down for a weekend again. Um, to anybody who was around then, when I got the first, the oil put in the first time, um, oil bubble means I had to lay face down for a whole weekend. It was hilarious. Um, I really was face down all weekend. So, I was just the most interesting person in the world for three whole days. Um, when we did the left eye, uh, they got they were able to put in a gas bubble. A gas bubble uh, does not require me to sleep face down <laughs> for three days. So we were able to focus a bit more on living life, which is what I prefer. Because if it is a gas bubble, that means Friday and Saturday and Sunday I can stream like normal. And have a good time. Um, if it's oil, probably no weekend streams. <laughs> So, not that that's the most important thing, you know. I guess my health is important. Just maybe. That's an important part of life. So, but yeah, that's the plan. Uh, Thursday surgery. Um, I don't know timing stuff yet. Um, they'll tell me Wednesday, but my primary physician approved me for surgery today. I've done this twice, like I've had similar procedures twice already, so I'm I'm pretty mentally prepared for it. At this point, and I think like the scariest one was the second surgery. Um that was a pretty dark time, I'll be honest. But we're we're a lot more content now. We're happier and we feel confident. So, um, if you missed earlier today, we finished Kingdom Hearts One. At least the main story. Um, there's a lot of side content. Um, so there's a good chance we play some of the side content still on stream. Uh, we have a lot of Coliseum and optional boss content. Um, so maybe I work through that in the future, but we shall see. Uh, we did also start Chain of Memories. So that is our second Kingdom Hearts game as part of the series. Um, at the end of Chain of Memories, the big deal is... Uh, we'll have to make a decision about 358 by 2. Um, I'd love to hear opinions on it. Um, if you've missed the discussion, here's what happens. Uh, Chain of Memories is the sec is there's six games in the the one and a half two and a half mix. Um, one Chain of Memories. 2 and Birth by Sleep are all full games. That's great. But 358 by 2 and Recoded are uh, movies. And they're about 3 hours long. 2 hours and 50 minutes of cutscenes. And that's all they are. I could play them on my channel. We could just watch Kingdom Heart movies <laughs> for those games when we get to them. Um, I am not totally opposed, but I'm not completely in favor of either. Um, I want, I will watch them myself either way. I think the question is, do people actually want to 
you know, lose streams of gameplay for... Please! Um, you know, lose gameplay streams just for me to, you know, for you all to be able to see those story elements. Um, I'm undecided as of yet how we handle it. Um, so... Um, I think we're going to have the same issue with the 2.8 collection because I believe at least 2.8 I think is also a three title collection but only one of them is a game quote unquote the other two are more games that they decided to not do a full port of so we lack the that gameplay but we'll decide um I still technically have to do some grinding for Octopath Traveler, and I don't know when we'll get to that. We are losing time in desert. That room before the big chest was absolutely garbage. I'm guessing in the next week or two, I thought Rogue Legacy was coming out, or Rogue Legacy 2 was coming out to Xbox soon. So realistically, like, I do want to stream that. So, I don't know. Too many things. Technically, it looks like we're gonna we're qualifying for main tourney, so uh, group stages for main tourney will be coming up soon. Uh, groups, I believe, is around Robin. Between me and like three other people. So, well, I think we'll play at least like six matches for group stages. Um, gonna be a busy amount of time with those races. And we'll just have to wait and see who we draw there. Um, always a good question. And hopefully we'll make brackets this year. I mean, either way, I'm just happy I get to play at this rate group stages. <laughs> <sighs> anybody who didn't know um, last year we qualified and we had our second retinal hemorrhage after qualifiers so like week of the start of groups I had to drop out of the tournament so <laughs> Fun times. Gah. 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 I don't know, if I restart now, I've still got time for a full run. Because this is bad. Do I reset?
It's only 15 seconds, right? We can keep going. Why not? If I die, we reset. If I don't die, we keep going. Um, I am considering a new channel point request reward. Um, I've got a special folder on my my card here. And I've got an idea. But it's only a far right now. I completely just got into doing dash pokes that I forgot that I was actually supposed to grab a pot. Oops. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much time I can save in other places that, like, even being 15 and a half seconds behind, like, there's no reason to call it. That's a reset. I don't even care. That mistake is reset worthy. We screwed up big time there. But yeah, expect the stream on Friday, uh, or next Friday, technically tomorrow as well, but next Friday I should be good enough to stream. Um, I'll be meeting with my doctor at like 7.45 in the morning, because he's going to bandage me up after he cuts in and does all of his work. Um, and then he has to take off the bandages on Friday. So, we'll be awake a lot. Yo, Gray. I'm good. How are you today? By the way, uh, Tycho, we are down to one special costume achievement. And then we just gotta buy a ton of shit from the shop. So... Uh, I probably don't have enough coins for all the stuff in the shop, but we're at least getting there. <laughs> I saw... I mean, if you can figure it out, like, why not? Garrison's the really strong one at that, so...
Three sixteen is good. That's a great time for escape for Zelda. I had a feeling that was a good Zelda time. And of course, I do know I need to fill in some emote slots for the channel. I will try to. Uh, Gray actually recommended a great emote that I could definitely use at this point. So I think I know one of the ones I want to get now. No, that was a good suggestion, Gray. I hadn't thought about having one of those, even though it's like, it's so appropriate for being a runner. Like, why should I not have one of those? No, really? Oh, what's extra gamer missing? He is in go. Okay. There's always that feeling of just like you watch some of the new the newer runners who like join a qual and you're you're just pulling for them. Um, you know, you really hope they get a they get through the seed, they can power through it, like you feel bad, especially with how difficult this item pool is. Like it's not an expert pool, but it is a really, really strong difficulty on this hard item pool. So you really are pulling for the newbies. Yes, and punish all who forfeit.
I don't care either way, I think, Aaron. Um, I get the point. I get the sentiment. Like, I understand why it should be a zero. I just don't... It doesn't matter. Um, I guess is the way to put it. Like, if it had a bearing on anything in terms of who makes it or not, I'd care. But because of the fact that, like, if you forfeit twice, you're out anyway, I'm kind of... Like, whatever. I get it. I just don't... I don't care enough to think that it matters. I think is the way to put it for me. Like, I get, I get that. I understand it. But from, like, a... A point standpoint, a... A qualification standpoint, it just doesn't. Okay. Have a good night, Joe. See you, hopefully, tomorrow or... I don't know. The weekend, I don't know. Have a good Easter, if you're doing something. Away. Okay. So who's going to run the daily tonight? SG daily. Convince me I should run. p.m. Eastern time tonight is the SG Daily. Do I run it? <laughs> what do you mean, my TM? That's a great mode. You should run. No gray. Bad gray. Regular cross keys. You gonna join tonight, Aaron? I mean, I haven't run cross keys in a while either, Aaron. But a run's a, a good, a, all the the reason I need, I think. But next week, um, next week's forty bonks is actually cross keys anyway, so you know.
Oh, do you not enjoy cross keys? Okay, I was like, I didn't know if you actually don't enjoy cross keys. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I don't judge. Like, I prefer, it's probably my favorite mode. But I understand it's not for everybody. I don't know, I feel like it's such a pure distillation of randomness. Honestly, like, ever since I had my second surgery last year, I've, like, my other eye surgery, I've just felt like it's my mode to love. I came back from that surgery and I was just like, no, cross keys is great. It's funny, Flip. I'm racing against an amazing escape by comparison. The escape I had is a, a lot better, but my Eastern wasn't great. And then my Desert Overworld, I actually got bullied big time in PB. So I've got like a free 10, 11 seconds there every time. I mean, I've heard from Vex and John that they sometimes lurk and get to just see how bad things are and go, you know, if he did this, he'd have it. Hey, Dan. Just one. Hera was a mess. Everything had been a mess up to Des or up to Hera, so I figured, you know, why not? Get back here. second land mode. I mean, as long as I'm keeping it under 40, I'm not going to be, like, super pissed off. 
And just looking at it that way, it looks fine. I was 3.5 seconds ahead exiting Eastern. I'm 3.8 seconds ahead as exiting Desert. Everything's good. <laughs> oh, I love the stupidity of it. It looks so good. Oh my god. Yo, you die. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, anything less than 40 is fine. Like, I could do better, but I'll take it. I don't know, I'll consider the SG daily tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, that's always what the risk you run. comment I love post qualifier comments No comment <laughs> Bravo. By the way, why did TJ forfeit so early? What happened to TJ? I was really sad because, like, TJ's got a shot, and, like, that forfeit really is gonna possibly sink him. Oh, no. That sucks. Because he could have finished and just uploaded the VOD then. Yeah. It's just he had done so much to kind of put himself back in it. And like, I, I, it's tough because like, obviously, you know, knowing like, Garrison and Leo are so close right now, like, you know, part of me is like, I need to see people fall, because I want, you know, I want my friends to make it. Like, that's always cool. But, at the same time, like, you hate to see it happen to somebody.
Yeah, like, I think... I think with drops... Leo still is in decent shape. Garrison's in rough shape. Uh, Wind Fox, it's unfortunate what happened to him. Like, I can't... I can't deny that, like, his situation's rough with what happened. Um... Like, I understand why Wind ran extra false. Um, his position was not great. I can't deny it. Um, so, he kind of needed the quals. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, Flip, I, I, it's like you and Monkey are both like right there. And I'm just like, oh man. <laughs> But, yeah, no, I, I look at where he was, and I was like, part of me would have said stay put, but, you know, if you're going to run one, you got to run a second in his case, because, like, he didn't have a lot to gain with each race. It's funny, I had been a blue name, though, for, like, the last six or seven quals. Yeah. Well, I didn't know he wasn't feeling well. I haven't really talked to him, so... To be honest. Um, so I can't say, you know, I didn't know. But if that's the case, like, yeah, that sucks. But I mean, part of it was, like, he ran... The first one he ran wasn't great, because I think he lost some positions on the first one. And then the second one was kind of a disaster for him, and that really has kind of sunk him completely now. Um, Dan, the estimator sheet is able to kind of, like, guess what quartile you might be, or, like, what your qualifying position is. Um, so, like, looking at the data, like, blue and green are good. Yellow is touchy. Orange is possible, and red is bad. Um, green, like, I'm green now, but, like, when I was blue, that meant I had a chance at being first quartile. Um, I just recently got, like, or had a chance at first quartile. Um, today, I dropped out of that position. I thought there was a yellow. Why did I think there was yellow? Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. We matched our PB. Two blue balls. That's all I can ask for. Actually, I had an even better two ball because we gained nine tenths of a second on that. So our war patterns were actually nicer than my other two. I mean, Flip, it's having you right near me is great because it means I don't have to play you. <laughs> and after 80 keys tournament, I think I could go with some time away from playing you. <laughs> Apparently, if it's a big group race, I can beat Flip Heal. But solo one-on-one -on -one right now, I just can't seem to shake him. That sounds great.
I didn't really clown any of mine. Um, my scores are actually all very decent, to be honest. Um, my lowest is an 85. So. Like, I can't complain about how we did this year. Like, I have an 85, an 87, so. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Wait, did I have lower than 85? Maybe, I don't remember. Yeah, I'll take my positions in the quals this year. Easily. Look at that crystal catch. Dan, you know, just trying to put together a run. Woohoo! That pole was right up my ass, and I still got by. Woohoo, babe! <laughs> Hello, John.
That's the one thing I don't know really, Flip, is I, I just don't know the quick warps. So... <laughs> one of the things. One of the many things that I don't actually do. Like, honestly, Flip, all the work you did with, like, wind, I don't do the work there. I'm lazy. Crickets suck, Gray. Everything about the attic was bad. I just didn't, you know. I thought I was going to be safe on that dash out. I really did. It's not over. It's not great, but it's not over. Yeah, I agree, Flip. I think out of all the possible ones, that's the best that I could have taken. It's a shift of 40 seconds, but... 
Here's the thing, now I can just run freely. I'm just like, whatever, we had a death. It's all good. Honestly, we're still getting a few golds in this run, so it's worth something. Honestly, just finishing the runs what matter. The more runs I finish, the closer I get. My average is going down. GT continues to improve. I had my first ever sub four climb only a few weeks ago. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that was scary. Saved four seconds. Could save more, realistically. Good Zora patterns. Make up some time here. Get magic off the pen gator, I'm fine. Pen gator room always gives magic.
All the time saved gone, and we lost four seconds in the dungeon overall. Eh. But not a disaster. I've had worse ices. Oh god, that kick. <laughs> flip this is why shields are good right here see oh my god the shield it's your friend see <laughs> all worth it all for a spear block It's a pass in vanilla, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
By the way, Snoo, are you still here? Yeah, I know. I ask because sometimes he responds. I don't know when he's here or not. It was just the conversation I had with them last, with him and Vex last time about all the time to save in, in Swamp. And I was just curious if, like, they had taken into account the fact that, like, is that because Swamp is that bad or is it that I'm also doing Ether Medallion during the split. Like, I don't know what they took into account. And I was always curious. Because I don't think my swamp's that bad. It, it is, but, like, if they thought I was doing shopping later... Will you now, Gray? Hmm. shop. Oh, this is bad. Terrible Argus. <laughs> I usually hit the double fire rod shot, Aaron. Like, that's the part that kills me. Thank you. 
What's the shopping route you do, Aaron? Do you do ether after swamp? Is that what your way is? Okay, so you do the same as I do. get ice rod early. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's why I'm trying to understand what Bex and John were saying that day, because they were saying my... My swamp was just really that slow, and I was like, I know it's not great, but I don't think it's so bad that, like, it's that far off what I would need it to be. I've been messing up that part of Spooky too much recently.
We're only a minute behind. Which tournament? Are you saying main tourney? What I supposedly qualify for, damn. Uh, yeah, technically it'll start, um, last qualifier isn't till Sunday. Um, but then after that it would be, I think there's a week for them to, to figure out groups. Yeah, like they'll, I, they'll probably do an announcement, um, broadcast to like tell everybody what the groups are. So. Usually the way it's worked is like the person who wins quals, so like the top finisher, which at this rate is gonna be Aerie. Um, they usually request or like, hey, go, hey, um, you were that good during the qualifiers, can you run a seed that we specially create? And that specialty seed will reveal who's in what groups. But yeah, that's roughly what'll happen. Um, we'll find out more details. Like, what has to happen, Okesh, is that this week, so Sunday is the last qualifier. At that point, what they'll know is the top 128. Um, but even knowing the top 128 isn't, what the hell, um, isn't enough because people might drop. I know. So, like, right now, um, I'm trying to think. Like, Gamachu is... would probably qualify. Um, but as it stands, I think his plan wasn't to enter. Um, I think Trinex has said he's not gonna enter, enter the tourney. So, like, they'll need to get confirmation from those people not entering the tourney, and then find the replacements for them. Um, so, like, there's some steps. Um, then after that, they have to figure out the groups, and then they'll have to announce the groups. So it'll be at least, I think, a week until they do that. All those steps. So figure towards the end of the month. Rude, it was so much fun. I love comming it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you going to run anymore, Aaron, or are you just going to stand where you're at? Can I look at the data? Let me look at the data and I'll give you my opinion. So at the end of this run, I'll take a look. Final score tab? What's the estimator say? Okay, so I guess the questions I have Oh god. I know that's a mistake. So like what I would ask is what of the two calls that are left, which one can you run? Or which ones can you run? Either or, okay. That's fair. So, like, since either fits, why not, I would say, watch Saturday and then only consider Sunday if you need it. Like, I think let's, like, I'll take a look Saturday, late Saturday or Saturday afternoon and give you my honest opinion. But, like, I think you just see what it looks like for sure. And just, you know, if things seem like you need to do them, then I think you cross that bridge when you have to. saving time on the big key, that's for sure. Um, 
But yeah, no, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it right now. Um, I think you wait and see because realistically, oh my god, I am absolutely dog shit. Um, like there's just not a reason for you to yet, and I think you'll have a clear picture after Saturday. Um, because then you can look at the people who need to pass you and what they need to do. Yeah. Like, I think... What's your max gain and max lose right now? So you're not risking a ton, but it would be enough. Yeah, I mean, you're a smart enough individual that, like, I think you look at the data on Saturday and after Saturday's qual, and if it if it's starting to look like you need it or that there's enough people who could realistically pass you with a qual, with the, the, fa the final qualifier, then I think you take that gamble. But until then, I, I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't do Saturday. Like, there's just not a good reason for you to do that one. That does mean you'd be putting yourself at different pressure if you have to run Sunday. And, like, that stinks, and I hate to have to put that on people. But, you know, I don't know. I don't like the idea of running if you don't have to. Like, you're definitely, you're in a better spot than, like, Garrison and Leo. Like, they might have to run to even give themselves a chance in some regards. Like, it's not bad for them, but they have a, a little bit harder than you do. The slight edge you have over them makes it a little, it's a different story for you. Like, I think, I think Leo's going to be running on Sunday at this rate.
Sub four. What is that? A three fifty eight climb? That's a damn good climb. The fact that I can start hitting sub fours really feels good. Unfortunately, this... I've been missing the one-in-one one one so badly recently. I've just been sluggish on the three slash to start. Bad Ganon fight. Really bad Ganon fight. We're gonna lose all the time we gained in GT. <laughs> uh, damn. That's a rough finish. Thanks for the GG's, though. One thirty one forty is not terrible. I mean, you figure I what lost forty seconds in thieves. Yeah, I mean, ice was fine. It wasn't great, but it was fine. I'll, I'm not gonna be mad about ice. Swamp Palace. It was the Argus fight. Argus, we lost like 10 seconds because I couldn't... That was like a four-cycle Argus in phase two. Yeah, we lost almost 10 seconds on Argus. <laughs> uh, Meyer, we missed Spooky. So when you lose Spooky in the dungeon, you lose almost 20 seconds. And then, what, TR was okay? I think we lost a little bit of time there, but really like 
You can see the spots. Thieves, Swamp, and Mire. But we just keep finishing runs. There's my PB. That's my sum of best segments. That's my that's my actual PB. 130 32. So I guess this is average. My average run is down to a 132. Like that's not bad. Average Ice Palace is sub hour now. My average upstairs GT is a 406, so like we can continue to improve that one. <sighs> Real quick, because this is bothering me. I don't hit Prack Hack much, but I am not happy with this. I've been missing it, and it's going to bite me in the main tourney at this rate. I don't even want to do the rest of the fight. I just want to do the first phase. Ah, ah. Come on. I'm not getting a one phase phase one. Like, this is bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
keep on missing this right now. Like, I'm getting cute with it or something. Getting like jumpy now because I'm like, I know I'm not hitting it. to see it to know that I'm, what I'm doing is really that stupid. Thank you. 
Maybe going with the double spin is better than me trying to go for 12 dashes. No, I don't want the pig facing now. <laughs> I'm just missing it right now. Come on. Like, I can learn. I can learn, that's for sure. And on that note, we're going to call it tonight. <laughs> Funny. I'm not dealing with downward facing pig again. <laughs> okay. Uh, have a great night. Maybe we'll be live in about an hour and a half for the daily. Uh, daily tonight is cross keys. So maybe I enter that. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, but have a great Thursday night, and hopefully I see y'all tomorrow. Um, we'll do something. I don't know. So until then, have a great one. Good night. Bye.